Alright, so the next story I find absolutely fascinating. Um, now, I'm going to jump across the pond. And, um, and for any of the Brits that watch this, I'm going to try to get the story right. I actually follow British politics. I, I actually enjoy it. Um, I love Parliament and I love Jeremy Corbyn to death. So I'm going to try to do the story. So May, um, the Prime Minister, who took over David Cameron after the Brexit vote, well, he was, he staked his Prime Ministership on that Brexit vote. Um, and when they rejected him, he quit. Now, so the question remained, what kind of Brexit? And what does Brexit even mean? So up to this point, they said, hey, what does Brexit mean? Brexit means Brexit. Yeah, I don't know what that means. It means Brexit. You know, like Brexit. What the hell does that mean? So, the question to some degree has been answered. May is opting for what's been called a quote-unquote hard Brexit. Um, there were thoughts that she would may try to stay affiliated with the union, trying to stay with the single market. But any of those optimistic ideas kind of completely missed the fact that if you're going to be a part of the single market, you still have to follow the rules of that market. Like, there was no situation where you were going to be able to interact with the EU from a market standpoint, but not have to deal with immigration issues. You can't have it both ways. It's a package deal. So, Theresa May warned. All right, so, this is from The Guardian. Theresa May warned European leaders that the UK is prepared to cash out of the EU if she cannot negotiate a reasonable exit deal in a speech where her tough-talking rhetoric prompted key figures in Brussels to say that the country was on track for a hard Brexit. The Prime Minister told EU counterparts that any attempt to inflict a punitive outcome on the UK would be an act of calamitous self-harm because they would then slash taxes to attract companies from across the world in a one-hour address intended to spell out the country's negotiating strategy. Wow. All right. She told them, we can be your best friend. She says, and while I'm confident that this scenario may need never arise, while I am sure a positive agreement can be reached, I am equally clear that no deal for Britain is better than a bad deal for Britain. That is ballsy. I love that. I love that. That's, yeah, I love that. That's pretty ballsy. Um, oh, man. She's going to turn Britain into a tax haven of sorts. She's essentially saying, I'm going to slash corporate taxes if you guys don't give us a good deal. <laughs> okay. But look, to be fair, and Jeremy Corby hit her on that too. When I first read that, I was like, oh God, that sounds gross. But look, she's kind of in a tough spot. Cameron essentially dropped this off in her lap. And to her credit, she took it on. And she's taking on something that is not going to be easy. It's not going to be fun. I think somebody described this is the start of a miserable process. Something to that effect. That guy is going to be absolutely right. Um, she doesn't have, at least I don't think they have much in the way of a bargaining chip. I mean, in this case, she's working with the hand that she has. Um, and look, all, everybody else can criticize her, including Jeremy Corbyn. But I got to be honest, I don't know what different they would be doing. Um, the country voted to leave. She's trying to take them out. That's all you can ask for. Um, there is one funny part. She says, the Prime Minister was calling for unity, saying, because this is not a game or time for opposition's sake, or oppositions for opposition's sake. It's a crucial and sensitive negotiation that will find the interest and the success of our country for many years to come. And it is vital that we remain maintain our discipline. Essentially, don't attack me for the missteps that I may make on this. We don't need to be partisan here. This is about a united Britain. Look, I don't blame her for saying it, but good luck with that one. Corbett has been asking her, or essentially even the Scottish um, minister, what does Brexit mean? What does Brexit mean? So, yeah, she's going to get dinged on it. This happened under Cameron's watch. Is what it is. And look, I, this is going to sound bad, but I like Jeremy Corbyn. And I would love for Jeremy Corbyn to be the Prime Minister. And I know somebody probably is telling me to go fuck myself right now because I don't live there. But I don't care. I like Corbyn. 
Um, so going to the next story. Jordan Sheridan is back from vacation uh, from the Young Turks.